What's up, y'all? It's me, yes, me, your girl Z, and welcome to my movie reaction movie commentary channel. Let's get it. So, today we are going to be watching one of my favorite series, but from the beginning. And it is, as you can tell, as you can tell, as you can tell, <laughs> it is. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Now, I have seen the series before multiple times, but sometimes whenever I watch the series, I always have questions. It never fails. No matter how many times I watch it, I always have questions. But some there, even all, after all these years, there are things that I've missed, and I probably will still be asking those questions when we watch it today. <laughs> so, and and if you catch me asking a question, but can can you can you guys uh? answer them for me in the comments because sometimes y your girl gotta ask so ready let's go why is it black hold up why aren't you functioning give me a sec oh that's the light stealer thingy i have a question what animal would you want to be like if you were to able if you were able to transform into an animal That's what I'm saying. So if you know that they were horrible people, why leave him with these people? He's far better off growing up away from all of that. He got caught up in it anyway. Whether Harry was ready or not, he got snatched up into the situation. Now, was that supposed to signify a lightning bolt, like the scar? Or was that just like, just how the scar was just gonna be? No. Can't really get up if you... I couldn't even get out if he, locked, if he got locked from the outside. Look how small his little space is. Oh, the sawdust. You know... <laughs> what a piece of trash. They treated Harry so wrong for no reason. And you got this spoiled brat. How many are there? 36. Counted them myself. You know, I would've got popped. Are you kidding? And that wasn't even for Christmas. That was for his birthday. You got 36 presents for your birthday. It's a lot. And he was so ungrateful about it. Ugh. Wow. They treated him so wrong, and for what? They are the worst people imaginable. <laughs> Trying to sound like McGonagall. Oh, he's asleep. He's boring. I forgot how much he angered me. He's like, yes. Where are Snake's ears anyway? I just want to know. Uh, like, are they on the side? Or, like, you can you not see? I'm gonna have to look that up later. You had all that space and you pushed him for what? And that's what you get. Thanks. I wonder if, like, right there, was he speaking parcel tongue and he didn't know it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Uh. So my question is, were the aunt and uncle, like, were they aware? They, I think so, right? They were aware that he has some form of magic? There's no such thing as magic. What if he had to pee? Because, like, it's locked from the outside, you know? So I'm just sitting here like, okay, I gotta go to the bathroom. Or is there, like, a bucket in there for him? Like, what? You know what I would have did with that letter? I wouldn't have brought it in that kitchen for them to see. <sighs> and like they knew of the school. Like they were aware. And s Okay, so they knew. They knew about Hogwarts. I guess because of Petunia. Aunt Petunia. Because of Lily, right? Because they were the ones that were, that were related. 
the fact that they get joy out of like torment and hearing. Look at him. He's like. <sighs> he, he look crazy at the end of the week though. Look at his <laughs> hair sticking all up. My guy was stressed all week. Well, that is actually my worst nightmare. Is something about birds for me? I'm just like, no. What's funny is that I used to have a pet bird. Used to have two. They were so adamant about him not going to the school. The fact that these people wanted to pretty much control Harry in this house. Wouldn't you want to send him away so that you wouldn't have to take care of him? I don't understand that logic. Y'all been treating him bad all these years because he w didn't feel wanted and he didn't feel welcomed by his own family. And now he has the chance to actually go away. But you're still trying to keep him there and torment him some more. And it was his birthday too. Happy birthday, Harry. My question is, how did they find that place, that like lighthouse place in the middle of nowhere? Literally. Y'all on a whole island. You may have sat out of it at some point, but I imagine it'll taste fine just the same. A butt cake. <laughs> Dudley was mad. He's like, not you getting a cake. Oh, look how he spelled happy birthday. That's his wand, right? It's kind of cool how it's like an umbrella. Where your mom and dad learned it all. He ain't know nothing about his parents. And of course his... I don't know, I'm going to tell him. I bet you the people at Hogwarts is mad. I'm like, how many times do I send this boy this letter? All this paper we wasted and he ain't opened on one once. Okay, so they did know. I mean, that makes sense because her sister was a wizard. Or witch, whatever. Now, if the roles were reversed, how would you want to be treated? I gave him a tail. And that's exactly what he is. Why are those animals? What are the specifics? Like, an owl, a cat, or a toad? Because Ron had a rat. <laughs> Harry Potter. It got so quiet. Quirrell, that was his name. He didn't want to shake his hand. He was like, <laughs> germs! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know, it's something about the first Harry Potter movie that just seems so magical. It's very, like, whimsical. Right? They need to clean that, um, bank. Look at all them cobwebs. Y'all got, like, freaking Shelobe up in there. You know, I went on the, what was it? Like, the Gringotts bank ride or whatever it was very uh underwhelming <laughs> well look at that inheritance my question is how old is he my drawers <laughs> like, how do you know that 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 would be the wand for him you should be destined for this wand when its brother gave you that scar. I think it's interesting that um, he was like, oh yeah, he did great things. They're bad things, but it was great. Maybe if you wrote it down. No, I can't spell it. He said maybe if you write it down. Now you know, Harry, how he spelled happy birthday. And you want him to write down Voldemort's name? <laughs> Hagrid knew his limits. Why did he live? Y'all know that song? If you know, you know. <laughs> He's like, gotta go. First time wizard, you're on your own. <laughs> Three quarters. Think you're being funny, do you? Same You could have just said no. You ain't gotta be rude. My thing is, if you were a wizard, right? 
and if you're supposed to go to Hogwarts or if you're going to Hogwarts, where else, like, did you go to school? Like, did you go to school, like, a normal school before you were of age to go to Hogwarts? Or were you, like, homeschooled? Or, like, how did that transpire? I'm pretty sure Harry went to, like, just, like, a regular school. But Harry didn't know anything about magic, though. I'm talking about the, the families that actually know and are aware and that are in the magic world. Like, <laughs> you gotta be 11 or some, or whatever to start at Hogwarts. So what did you do? Or where'd you go prior to? Is that a smushed? It looked like a smushed sandwich. That's kind of unsanitary. I really wish I could have seen this rat turn yellow. He's a big rat. <laughs> she was kind of mean. She was kind of rude. Oculus Repairo. I just noticed that his glasses were broke the entire time. I just noticed that. So they had to arrive by boat like every time, right? To get there. I would like to go to like the actual place like where this was like filmed at. I think that'd be pretty cool. I think it's interesting that Draco actually kind of wanted to be his friend. He was like, ooh, the famous Harry Potter, be my friend. But he was such a snoot. Harry was like, that's okay, I, I, I've seen enough. I'm gonna start clapping like that. <laughs> that hat was disgusted. He didn't even, he didn't even allow to be put on top of his head. He was like, Slytherin. What was Professor Quirrell doing? Was he whispering something in Snape's ear? The fact that they all had high expectations of what house he was going to be in. It's very interesting. He said anything but Slytherin. Be like plot twist. Hufflepuff. Yep. Now that. I would love that. That's so cool. No. That food look good. Hold on. I'm getting distracted. <laughs> I just got so distracted. I don't even know what I was trying to say. What was I trying to say? Oh. I was trying to say. Forget it. <laughs> Isn't that, what's his name? John Cleese or something? I'm probably totally wrong, but I think that's John Cleese. But he voices Fiona's dad. He's the king in Shrek, I think. His voice sounded hecka familiar. It's so many. It's so high. It keeps going. Oh! Password. Password. <laughs> you know when he blinks? He don't close like both eyes at the same time. It's like one eye. It's like he winking more than he blinking. Can you blame him? It's a big school, nah. I get lost too. Called her old McGonagall. That bloody room. There will be no foolish wand waving. The way he busted in there, though. To not pay attention. But he was the one that was actually paying attention. He was taking notes. Bruh, he didn't know that he was a wizard until like a few days ago. You know, it would have been cool if it showed what he forgot. So someone tried to go in there again after Hagrid and Harry went. Oh, oh her eyes. <laughs> He just listen. He ain't even do nothing. I wonder why his broom went off like that. Oh my gosh, I would be terrified. How about the roof? Where were 
they looking? <laughs> I don't. I know that with directing and like you want the kids to like, hey, pretend that he's here and follow him. But he literally went up and around, and they were still like staring at like one spot. That was weird. Ooh, what if he crashed through her window? That would be that would have been atrocious. You know, all these years, I thought she said, you will make a fool of yourself. It's in your blood. It's in your blood to act like a fool. It looked like McGonagall, a uh, McGonagall was one, too. Oh. This is the dark room. It's forbidden. That cat has red eyes. The fact that they went deeper into... Where they weren't supposed to be. Yeah, that's kind of frightening. I know I wouldn't have stayed in there until it woke up. <laughs> look at Ron's face. He is unamused. He's like, you know what's worse than getting killed? Being expelled. <laughs> I never really understood this game. So let me pay attention this time. Like a goalie. I wonder what makes the ball act like that and why it's making noises. Like it's there's an animal inside of there. So the keepers keep protect of the hoops, the goals, right? Like a goalie. Then you got the beaters whacking the bludgers, right? And then you got the seeker, which is getting the golden snitch. Did I get that right? Yeah, he did say that wrong. <laughs> you do it. Like, he was annoyed. He was like, you do it then. Why is Ron me, though? I would have that attitude straight up. You do it then. Go ahead. Go ahead. And then there's him. And then he charred half of Harry's face. He left real quick. Oh, was that when Snape went to, went by the, um, where the dog was? It's going to the bathroom. Of all places, why is it going in there? Like, did it sense that there was something in there, or was he just gonna roam in there? Oh. Oh! <laughs> you know how it's like you, when you learn something in class, and then when it actually happens, all the things that you learn just flies out the window? Yeah, me. Well, good thing Hermione was there. Oh. But why even take that? Why even say that lie? I went looking for the troll. I would have been like, yo, I was in the bathroom and the troll came in and it attacked me. That's why Snape was looking at her like, why, why is she telling this bold face lie? Five points will be awarded to each of you. You know, the points, that's kind of low. They said full mounted troll that they just took down. You could have at least give them 10. We went through trauma for five measly points. The popper is released and the game begins. I got goosebumps from that. Yeah, I couldn't be no audience member because if they come in dipping and diving towards me, I need a shield. Harry ain't doing squat. What is that? He over there cheering. Find the snitch. What's interesting is that you can see Quirrell back there not breaking eye contact too. But of course it's going to be a misdirect and they're going to show Snape look, look like he's casting the spell. But you see, but if you look at Quirrell back there, he's like. I wonder if he knew who was like cursing Harry's broom though. 
if Snape knew. And see? And they deliberately show the camera to show Quirrell because he fell. Of course, you show up at the end. Where were you? Where were you? Where were you <laughs> when all them vows was happening? Top secret, that is. See, Hagrid, Hagrid be giving away story. stuff Thanks. without giving away stuff. <laughs> Nicholas Flamel. Do he mouth Harry's line, Ron? <laughs> it looked like he mouthed. Oh, cause he's cause you know Harry hasn't been getting nothing like his whole life, and Ron's like, yeah, my guy, you got presents. <laughs> That's so cool though. If it's restricted, it would have some form of a more of a secured lock. Harry. Mm! All that heavy breathing. Back up. This castle has so many nooks and crannies and all these these magic items and stuff. Is that something I can actually read or is that a what is that? <laughs> mm. That's almost freaky. Like, I. Because <laughs> it's like you want them to, like, he wants them to physically be there and stuff. And then, like, you see her hand, like, come on your shoulder, like, through the mirror. You look like. That's what you. What do you see? Back again, Harry? How you know I've been here more than once? That thing has a name? <laughs> mirror of Erised. The Mirror of Erised. Never knew it had a name. Why, tomorrow, it will be moved to a new home. Dang. <laughs> Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Sorcerer's Stone. The elixir of life. Which will make the drink from mortal. Woof! That man is ancient. That's what's under the trap door. The sorcerer's stone. So the sorcerer's stone produces or um, can make you immortal. I'm in no fit state to entertain today. I, I, that needs to be on a t shirt. No, but. But Norbert. Who's that? Malfoy. Good evening. <sighs> what a snitch. Fifty points will be taken. Fifty each. Oh dang. Why so many? <laughs> His face. That's what you get. Exactly. You up to. Should have stayed in bed, you little punk. I like how Draco was trying to be like this whole big bad, like, I'm better than you, but he is such a coward. Why are we going to the dark forest? Ain't it forbidden? Oh. So you're sending two kids off by themselves, but the other two get to stick with you? I don't know, why can't we all just go together no matter how long it takes? This is the Forbidden Forest, sir. And that's when we run. Ain't no time for gawking. Oh, I used to hate this part. <gasps> I got moves. Oh, I hated that part. Oh, so, so creepy. Pick up your feet. Stand. 
understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Ron, because that would be me. I mean, how many people wander around with dragon eggs in their pocket? Why didn't I see it before? I think she mouthed his words too. Mm. I just noticed the ghost in her class. That is hilarious. The cloak is giving. The fact that he was trying to be intimidating with a teddy bear pajama set. Neville. We have to move it, Paul. Come on. Say what? I ain't moving squat. Oh, oh, the music stopped playing. Did you not feel that shadow hovering over your face? Ew. And you touched it. Moving further, this is Devil's Snare. You have to relax. She literally told you what to do, and you're doing the total opposite. Oh, that thing was making that noise? That's a really big school now that I think about it. They got all these dungeons and doors and stairs and secrets and creatures all up in here. He's like, you got this. Oh, wait. He couldn't at least get on the broom before y'all start jumping on him like this. Like, where did all this stuff come from? Like, who decided to go all the way deep, deep down in the dungeons and be like, yep. We're gonna have wizard's chest, a big one, right here. My question is, if they went outside of the chessboard and like go around, like right there, would they like get up off the chessboard and like start attacking at the door? Not me, not Hermione, yo. <laughs> Dang. My question is, is wizard's chest the same? Um No, don't move. Don't forget. We're still playing. Is it played the same as like regular chess? It's deeper and deeper. They're like so deep into the castle that it's ridiculous. <laughs> I just realized that Dumbledore moved this mirror over to here. Mm. Then, then you let the troll in. Uh, good, Potter, yes. He was a menace all school year. Keep a poker face. Don't be looking shocked. You are not strong enough. I would have been freaked out. I'm like, where is this voice coming from? Who is you talking to? And the fact that it was in the back of your head. Ain't no way. That is so disgusting. So, since Voldemort doesn't really have like a body, body, was that Quirrell in the Forbidden Forest moving about like that? I would have tucked and rolled right through that fire. Ew. I just got chill and not in a good way this time. Okay, so I never understood this. Why were his why was he able to like melt his face off? His his body off. Like his hands were like acid. Why was that? I can't remember if they explained why his hands was burning like that because that was weird to me. I can't remember. Oh! Uh, I 
That's right. Love. How many Granger for the cool use of intellect? Mm. Mm -hmm. They look like how in the world she get them points. <laughs> you know, if I was in the other house, I'm like he he got fifty points for playing chess. <laughs> Ten points to Neville Longbottom. Mm -hmm. He is too stunned to speak. <laughs> Yay. I'm over here cheesing. <laughs> How to do my shit away from Hogwarts? You know that. But it doesn't don't. <laughs> that was Sonic, y'all. Not Sonic. <laughs> Um, but if you haven't seen Sonic, my reaction to Sonic, please go check that out. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to wrap this up really quick. Um, I think um, it was a, it was a, of course, you know, Harry Potter, like the intro to Harry Potter, the intro introduction to like the world of Harry Potter was, um, I think it was really good. I think it was a nice start to like when it first came out to like continue with the franchise and stuff. So yeah, I, I liked it. Um, I hope you guys like my reaction as well. Um, me just commentating the questions that I had, things like that. Me just speak my mind on certain things that I didn't understand or what I thought was funny and whatnot. So yeah, this is pretty cool. This is fun. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video as well. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, if you want more commentary with this series you know just uh, leave in the comments below thank you guys again for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye <laughs>